Hey guys, James T here. Welcome to my vlog. Um, we're going to be talking to uh, Winona today. Winona is a uh, river guide uh, up on the Okoe River. I'll let her explain who she works for and more what, about what she does, that kind of thing. Uh, but she's uh, an industrious young lady right here in Chattanooga. Uh, and uh, enjoy that interview. Thanks for tuning in. Hey, James T. How you doing? Uh, we're here with uh, Winona, and uh, we're going to talk about some outdoor activities that are available in the Chattanooga area. Uh, you, uh, Winona, we've mm -hmm. known each other for a long time. Many years. Yeah, you were like <laughs> this big, <laughs> and there was a lot less gray here than there mm -hmm. used to be. Um, you've started and are like certified a river guide now, right? Yes, yes. Right? Uh, who do you work for? Um, so there are 24 companies on the river. Um, I work mm -hmm. for High Country. Um, high Country Rafting? High country, country, yeah, High Country Adventures is like their official name. Okay, cool, yeah. cool. And we'll do more than just uh, raft, rafting. We'll do like climbing, caving. We like to say midget tossing and underwater <laughs> basket weaving. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to see that. Yeah. I'd like to see that. Cool. Yeah. How long have you been working with them? This is my first year. Last year I was introduced to that company and I took a few customer trips with them. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of fun and I was like, well, why am I, why am I not doing this? Yeah. So I was like, well, let me give it a shot. So I went through the training and it's been a lot of fun. This is my first year. We call it, we call ourselves rookies. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's cool. That's yeah. awesome. It's that's awesome. really it. Yeah. Hey, um, so tell me about the process of becoming certified in, in the training. Yeah. Just, the, you don't have to go real in depth, okay. but just kind of give me a, a synopsis. Okay, so in the beginning we go through an eight weekend training. So that's every weekend we drive okay. up there. People come mm -hmm. from like Kentucky, Mississippi, everyone. Um, we started with 18 people and we went, we were, we'd meet every weekend, put on our gear at 8 a.m. Be ready oh at 9 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> um, and this started in April. So it was, Ooh, it was still cold. really cold outside yeah. along with the freezing cold water. <laughs> so we, it wouldn't matter if it was 42 degrees outside. We'd still yeah. go rafting. Yeah. And yeah. we'd have so many layers on and our hands Ooh. would turn blue. <laughs> <laughs> layers didn't matter. No. That. Yeah. <laughs> Just getting wow. splashed with water constantly. Wow. Um, so after the training... We had to be uh, certified in CPR and first aid. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. wow. Uh, where did you go for that? Did they teach you there? Yes, so they, okay. they gave us a class. It was $40 to cover both certifications. Mm -hmm. But um, with the church that I went to, um, they I was in the nursery program, so mm -hmm. they wanted me to do the CPR. So I got CPR through them oh, okay. for child care. And okay. then awesome. so all I had to do was get the first aid okay. with the program they had it. Awesome. So, how often do you are you working now? Now we're in the middle of the summer. Oh. Dog. Okay, so how often do you work? So the river runs. Um, TVA opens their floodgates Wednesday through Monday. Okay. Okay, so that's like okay. where our busiest time is the weekends. Yeah. Okay. So everyone yeah. wants to go rafting Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That's when we have time off. So we have time yeah. off, right? Yeah. Um, so. I work on the river Friday through Monday. Okay. So those are that's my rafting days, and then I work a second job at Rock Creek on Wednesday and Thursday. So when I when I'm rafting, okay. I'm working usually 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. <laughs> Sorry about the dog. It happens. <laughs> it does. Yeah. Uh, so, what are you doing when you're not rafting? I am. It depends. Some, I'll have Tuesdays off. Uh, that's like my relaxed day after the week. I don't usually like to do anything on those days. But this past Tuesday, I went mountain biking. So sometimes I'll do something just different from like the water life yeah. or the work mm -hmm. life. So, yeah. um, okay. But other than that, other than my off, my one off day, I'm working nine to five at Rock Creek. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's a good store. It is. I like it. <laughs> um, now, as far as, you know, I know the days you work. How many times do you actually go down the river? Go down the river. So we like to take eight trips down the river. Not that, that, does, that doesn't mean that one person is taking is on every single trip. We have rotations. Mm -hmm. So 
let's say the A rotation is 9 30, 12 30, 3 30. That means one person or a group of people is taking three trips a day. You can take okay. up to three to four trips a day. Man, that's a long day. That's a long that's day. A lot and these of work. are these are like three the the time on the river is an hour and a half, but to from the time you meet your customers, get them geared up on the bus up to the put in, it adds up to a three hour trip. So each rotation is about three hours. So nine, ten, eleven hour days. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Well that's an adventure. It is. I mean and everybody's time, time flies. Well everybody's young though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Fifty two year olds, well, I'm not going down the road. Well we do we do have some we do have some older folks. Yeah. Uh, the, like guides? Yes. Jerry uh, is forty something. Yeah. Forty something. We also we have people older than that as well. They've been doing it for twenties of years. Yeah, that that makes sense. So he's yeah. done it for years and years and yeah. years. I used to know some kayakers. Yeah. And they were in excellent shape. Yeah. Because that's all they did. Yeah. And as soon as the weather permitted, they were in their kayak and they were going down the river. Mm -hmm. So you know, when you do that kind of thing, you're in you're in shape for that. Yeah. And it's kind of like riding horses. Yep. All right. It keeps you in shape. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Nona, tell me a little bit about when things go wrong. Yeah. Right. So, um, especially with this, we call it rookie season, uh, the beginning of the summer season, a lot of us are new to the river, we're still learning the river, mm -hmm. reading the river, mm -hmm. there's a lot of stuff that can happen when you don't, when you, when you have different paddlers, so sometimes you'll have a crew that doesn't paddle as strong, um, doesn't get you to where you need to be and mm -hmm. that puts you into some serious situations where you can flip the whole boat That means you and all your six customers are in the water now yeah. And there are rocks <laughs> everywhere and yeah. very fast water and things could go very wrong and mm -hmm. there's injuries that always mm -hmm. happen mm -hmm. um, So there are flips there are pins which is where you Hit a rock sideways and like the lower tube gets stuck under the water and there's mm -hmm. like water being pushed onto it a lot of force, a lot of force to unpin it. So mm -hmm. a lot of stuff like that will happen. Or you'll hit a rapid some sort of way and you've got a couple swimmers. Some people fall out. Yeah. Um, last week I went off of a ledge a little weird and I had four swimmers. They were all fine. <laughs> <laughs> but they were a little shook up and I was like, it's all right, it's cool, just get back in the boat. Yeah. And yeah. when that happens, you the guide has to be positive. You yeah. can't let your yeah. customers know that shit's gone wrong and, <laughs> <laughs> and you're in, yeah. in, in a dangerous place at the moment. Yeah. 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 So, and a lot of our rookies this year, we've had two flips in very dangerous places. A rock called Kimberly's mm -hmm. um, is in a really low water place. So when that happened, um, a lady came back to the outpost with a, like a cut all the way across her nose. Ooh. Yeah. Now, was it something that, you know, the guy just being inexperienced just kind of lost a cue or missed a spot or something? Or was it the crew, the rowers didn't do what they were supposed to do? Sometimes it's a little bit of both. Yeah. So, and it also depends on the rapid you're going through. The rapid um, that this person was going through, we call it broken nose. And there's like this S curve. <laughs> yeah, which makes funny, sense. <laughs> makes funny perfect that sense. she broke her nose at broken nose. Um, but if you don't hit this, the first part of the rapid a certain way, you're going to be tossed over to this rock. And that's what happened. I guess it's either his paddlers weren't strong enough to get him to where he needed to be, mm -hmm. or he was just too fast. There's so mm -hmm. many, so many things that could have happened. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Um, now, I've been up to Okoe, mm -hmm. which is the river you're running. Yes. yes. Uh, I don't know, for over 20 years, mm -hmm. 25, almost 30 years, I've gone up there back and forth. There's been a lot of changes, but I always see when I go up there, the <laughs> facilities, and it looks like a little campground, right? It's almost like a, like a festival ground or mm -hmm. something like that. I mean, there's all this, you know, like uh, places to eat and hang out and, yeah. you know, big buildings and all yeah. that kind of stuff. It's really changed a lot. Do you, do you stay there? over the weekends when you're working yeah okay um, each outpost will either supply um, guide housing or they'll supply like a campground for people to live in tent in park their campers up or whatever mm -hmm. um, but high country was is really generous in, into giving us 
um, like housing. So like, nice. They basically look like sheds. <laughs> well, they're solid. <laughs> they're solid. It doesn't. The only thing that worries us is when it rains and the water goes onto our door and it like oh. floods our room a little bit. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, well, eh. Yeah, it's just not bad. We'll just sweep it out <laughs> when it dries up. <laughs> so, you river guys, you're used to one. Yeah, we are. Um, so our guide housing is a row of six rooms. Uh, usually there are two people in a room, um, and they, there's a loft part of it. So if someone will live there up top, mm -hmm. someone's like midway, and then you've got all your living space. Uh, mm -hmm. So Morgan and I live with my dog. So we've got two people and a dog. In the room. Okay. What kind of what kind of dog do you have? She's a Catahoula Mountain Cur mix. Yeah, I know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Sometimes I don't, I don't even know what that is. I just call she's a mutt. <laughs> she's well, that's a sweetheart. Cool. Yeah. That's cool. You've never taken the dog down the river. Have you? I have not, and that is on my bucket list though. I have I have a PFD wow. for her. Wow. Um, my friends that also have dogs have taken their dogs. Yeah. Um, well, that's cool. Yeah, that's I'm just cool. I'm waiting for May to be ready for it. She's yeah. gone swim she's been swimming a few times. Yeah. Um, and I took her paddle boarding one time so really? to, to understand like that balance. Would you where'd you do that? Tennessee River. So oh you went to the Tennessee okay. Yeah, it just Tennessee, cuts through Chattanooga. Yeah, Tennessee River just to get on the water with her paddle board cool. a little bit. I've always wanted to do that. Yeah, uh, you, you know, can was... um L two paddle boards, L two paddle sports or something. Right there off It's of, right off the bridge. Fr yeah, right. Fraser and oh. Market. Yeah, 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 okay. They there used to be a know. tattoo parlor there yes. or something. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's right there on the uh, the drawbridge. Yes. You know, uh, downtown is uh, mm -hmm. on that corner. Yeah, so uh -huh. one day they were, like, giving out free paddle boards, and I was like, oh, I'll just go with my friend and my dog. It's a good time. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Wow. Appreciate it, Winona. Yeah, you're welcome. And uh, one more time? Mm -hmm. High Country? High Country Adventures. High Country Adventures. So look them up. I take it they're online. They are. They have a phone number and all that. You have to look them up. At the end of this video, uh, like I do on all my other videos, I'll put that website and the name of the uh, the facility on there and some links in the discussion below. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate you. Remember, if you like what you hear, if you like what you see, subscribe, hit that like button, give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you next time. See ya. Bye. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs>